The UNBC Timberwolves visiting the TRU Wolfpack just one day after TRU topped the T-Wolves 3-1. These two teams plenty familiar with one another and the action gets going 30 minutes into the first half. Off of Francesco Bartolillo free kick, the ball is going to get cleared out to Abu Sisse, the Bamako Mali native making his third career start. He gets a great crack on it. Beating TRU keeper Jackson Gardner, that's the first Canada West goal of Cissé's career. It's a big one, he makes it 1-0 UNBC. UNBC keeps coming in the first half. Cissé is going to spring Owen Stewart, who will chip the keeper here, but get absolutely cleared out by Gardner in the process. Stewart's shot hits off the crossbar, not once, but twice. Somehow this one stays out, but the greater mystery, how did the referee rule this one not to be a foul as Stewart gets taken for quite the ride there? And as it often happens in sports, just 30 seconds later, the Wolfpack pressuring at the other end, the top of the UNBC box. Thomas Lantmeters, he's gonna step into this one. His blast finds the top corner. No chance for Rob Good and UNBC cannot believe that turn of events. Lantmeter's fourth of the season makes it a 1-1 contest in minute 36. We move now to the second half of play in this ultra important divisional matchup all the way to minute 78. Thompson Rivers on a corner kick here, Justin Donaldson on the ball. He sends it in, finding big Finley McPhee who deposits the set play. Take another look as the Canada West All-Star who serves as the Wolfpack captain. He flies in, makes solid contact, scoring his first of the campaign. And it's a big one for the desperate home side, making it 2-1 TRU. But the T-Wolves won't go away that easy. We move to minute 90. Freshman Anthony Preston gets tripped up in the box. The official pointing to the spot, awarding UNBC a penalty kick. Cody Geisberg's tab to take this one, trying to earn a point for the Timberwolves in the third year from Victoria, BC, makes no mistake. He beats Gardner in added time. What a battle this game was, but somehow more fireworks to come. TRU knowing they need three points. Donaldson's gonna find himself on a break after a pass from James Fraser, a big physical bully. He finds his way inside and goes short side on Goody. A terrific solo effort from the veteran as he restores the home side lead as the clock ticks again on the Timberwolves. But this one was a classic. In the 96th minute, one last opportunity, Gordon Hall throws it in, flicked on by Clay Kiskilla to Emmanuel Drame. The big defender subbed in late by Steve Simonson. He finds it, he wins it, and he blasts it. The product of Passama Liberia with the first goal of his Canada West career, and it's a huge one. As he celebrates with the UNBC bench, the Timberwolves stun TRU, earning a draw in a crazy game that saw three goals in added time. The final score, 3-3 on Sunday, October 7th. The effort and attitude from all these players, both teams, I mean TRU, uh, wow, what a team to keep to keep making us uh, work the way we had to and for Justin to score that goal, we thought he buried us and then we came back. So, you know, it's a big point, um, but more importantly, it's more of a moral, a moral victory because uh, I thought that we had chances to win that game today and, and, and we didn't and we had some adversity and and I think if we had lost that late, I think it would have killed us. So I think moral victory more than the point, but the point's going to help us a lot. We know our magic number in terms of getting into playoffs, and that's our number one goal is to get in the fourth place spot. That's what we're trying to do, and um, we've got games to do that in. And I think the getting the confidence knowing that against this is one of the toughest teams we'll face. Like not that the other teams aren't good; they're very good. This is just a different different beast altogether the way they play. So if we can pull something out of this, we have a good chance of pulling what we need later.